A well-known attorney in Perry County is behind bars in Memphis tonight, accused of trying to have sex with a minor. Investigators think Bobby McGee used the Internet to prey on an underage girl in Florida. First on 5 tonight, News Channel 5's Jeff Tang spoke with McGee's employees, and Jeff, they're standing by their boss. Yeah, that's right, Rory. McGee has been practicing law in the town of Linden for more than 20 years now. And while he is respected by many in town, these new allegations are sure to cause some shockwaves. We really haven't heard too much except rumors. The town of Linden, Tennessee has just two attorneys. Bobby McGee's employees will tell you that he's the best one. Mr. McGee is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. He's a very fine man. He is an advocate of women's rights. He is very protective of children's rights and has been deeply involved in a lot of cases that involve abuse of children or custody of children. Now McGee finds himself accused of a crime involving children. A 62-year-old man is behind bars in Memphis, accused of using the Internet to solicit sex from a minor in Florida. In this criminal complaint obtained by News Channel 5, investigators say McGee tried to persuade, induce, entice, or coerce another individual under the age of 18 to engage in prostitution and sexual activity. Sources say the investigation involved the FBI and ended when authorities arrested McGee at a gas station in Linden last week. This is not the first time McGee has come under fire. In 2006, the Tennessee Supreme Court suspended his license to practice law for engaging in sexual relationships with his clients. He is on probation for three years because of it, but he is practicing. He started practicing last year again. He was Judy Casey and Diane Berg say they don't know the details of the new allegations against their boss. They say they won't know until they hear it straight from Bobby McGee. I do not believe that Mr. McGee would ever do anything dishonest. I don't believe that he would commit a crime. He has my absolute full support. We're not forming any opinions until we know for sure. Now, federal authorities tell us that investigators took computers and other evidence from McGee's office earlier in the week. The FBI says that McGee had a hearing in Memphis earlier today, but did not say what came out of that hearing. Rory. Thanks, Jeff. In 2006, the state Supreme Court ordered the 62-year-old to take ethics and responsibility courses as part of a punishment for having sexual relationships with his client.